Hey there. Have you ever felt like the things you want most in life keep slipping away? What if I told you that the secret to getting what you desire might be letting it go? Sounds crazy, right? But stick with me, because today we're diving into a fascinating concept that could change the way you think about success and happiness. We're going to explore the idea of letting go and how it relates to the law of attraction. Now, you might be wondering, what's the law of attraction? Well, it's a belief that positive or negative thoughts bring positive or negative experiences into your life. In other words, what you focus on grows. But here's the twist. Sometimes focusing too hard on what we want can actually push it away. Let's break this down. The law of attraction suggests that our thoughts and feelings shape our reality. It's like we're sending out signals to the universe, and those signals come back to us in the form of experiences and opportunities. When we think positively and feel good, we attract more positive things. When we're negative and worried, we tend to attract more of what we don't want. But here's where it gets tricky. Have you ever wanted something so badly that it felt like you couldn't think about anything else? Maybe it was a job, a relationship, or a personal goal. You probably thought that focusing all your energy on it would make it happen faster, but often the opposite occurs. This intense desire can create resistance, making it harder for what you want to come into your life. Think of it like this. When you grip something too tightly, your hand gets tense and tired. It's the same with our goals and desires. When we hold onto them too tightly, we create tension in our minds and bodies. This tension can block the very things we're trying to attract. That's where the power of letting go comes in. It might sound counterintuitive, but loosening your grip can actually help you achieve your goals faster. Letting go doesn't mean giving up on what you want. Instead, it's about releasing the intense attachment to the outcome. When you let go, you create space. It's like opening a window in a stuffy room. Fresh air can finally flow in. In the same way, when you release your tight hold on your desires, you allow new opportunities and possibilities to enter your life. But what exactly are we letting go of? It's not the goal itself, but the attachment to it. Attachment is when we tie our happiness or sense of worth to a specific outcome. We think, I'll only be happy when I get this job, or my life will be perfect once I'm in a relationship. This kind of thinking puts a lot of pressure on ourselves and the situation. Letting go means trusting that things will work out, even if they don't happen exactly as we imagined. It's about being open to different possibilities and paths to reach our goals. When we're less attached, we're more flexible and able to see opportunities we might have missed before. Now you might be thinking, this sounds great in theory, but how do I actually do it? Don't worry, we're going to cover some practical steps to help you practice letting go. But first, let's talk about why it can be so hard to do. Our minds are wired to want control. It feels safer to hold on to things tightly because we think it gives us power over the situation. But in reality, there's a lot in life we can't control. Trying to force outcomes often leads to stress, anxiety, and disappointment. Letting go is a skill that takes practice. It's not about becoming passive or not caring. Instead, it's about finding a balance between having goals and being open to how they might unfold. It's trusting in yourself and the process of life. One way to start practicing letting go is through mindfulness. This means paying attention to the present moment without judgment. When you catch yourself worrying about the future or obsessing over a goal, take a deep breath and bring your attention back to the here and now. Notice your surroundings, the sensations in your body, and your breath. Meditation can also be a powerful tool for letting go. Set aside a few minutes each day to sit quietly and observe your thoughts. As thoughts about your desires or worries come up, imagine them as clouds floating by in the sky. You see them, but you don't have to grab onto them. This practice can help you create some distance from your thoughts and reduce their power over you. Another helpful technique is to focus on gratitude. When we're constantly chasing after what we don't have, we miss out on appreciating what's already in our lives. Take time each day to think of three things you're grateful for. This shifts your energy from lack to abundance, which is a key principle of the law of attraction. 
It's important to understand that letting go doesn't mean you stop taking action towards your goals. It's about changing your approach. Instead of forcing things to happen, you take inspired action. This means listening to your intuition and acting on opportunities that feel right, rather than pushing against closed doors. For example, if you're trying to advance in your career, letting go might mean stopping the constant job searches that leave you feeling drained. Instead, you focus on doing your current job well and being open to unexpected opportunities. You might take a class that interests you or network in a way that feels natural and enjoyable. By releasing the tight grip on your goal, you allow space for surprising and often better opportunities to come your way. Letting go can be particularly challenging when it comes to relationships. Whether you're looking for a partner or trying to improve an existing relationship, attachment can create a lot of problems. When we're too attached to a specific person or outcome, we often push them away or overlook red flags. Practicing letting go in relationships means focusing on your own growth and happiness rather than trying to control the other person or the relationship. It means being okay with the possibility that things might not work out exactly as you hoped, but trusting that you'll be okay either way. As you start to incorporate the practice of letting go into your life, you might notice some challenges. One common misconception is that letting go means not caring or giving up. This isn't true at all. Letting go is about caring deeply but not being attached to a specific outcome. It's about trusting in the process and in your own ability to handle whatever comes your way. Another challenge you might face is the fear of missing out. You might worry that if you're not constantly pushing and striving, you'll miss opportunities. But often, the opposite is true. When you're relaxed and open, you're more likely to notice and take advantage of opportunities that come your way. It's also common to feel a sense of loss or emptiness when you first start letting go. We often define ourselves by our goals and desires, so releasing that tight grip can feel like losing a part of ourselves. But this is actually an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. As you let go of old attachments, you create space to explore new aspects of yourself and your life. Integrating the practice of letting go into your daily life takes time and patience. Start small. Notice areas where you tend to hold on too tightly and practice releasing your grip a little. This might be as simple as not checking your phone constantly for a message you're expecting or not obsessing over the details of a future event. As you practice, you'll likely start to notice positive changes in various areas of your life. You might feel less stressed and more peaceful. Your relationships might improve as you let go of trying to control others. You might find yourself more open to new experiences and opportunities. Letting go can also have a ripple effect on your personal growth. As you release attachment to specific outcomes, you become more resilient and adaptable. You learn to trust yourself and the process of life more deeply. This can lead to increased self-confidence and a greater sense of inner peace. The practice of letting go aligns beautifully with the law of attraction. When you're not desperately clinging to specific outcomes, you're in a better energetic state to attract positive experiences. You're more relaxed, more open, and more aligned with the natural flow of life. The law of attraction isn't about forcing things to happen through sheer willpower. It's about aligning your energy with what you want to attract. Letting go helps you do this by releasing resistance and creating space for new possibilities. The law of attraction suggests that our thoughts and feelings shape our reality. However, wanting something too intensely can create resistance and push it away. Letting go is about releasing attachment to specific outcomes while still maintaining our goals and desires. It's a balance between having intentions and being open to how they might manifest. Practicing letting go involves mindfulness, meditation, gratitude, and taking inspired action rather than forcing outcomes. It can be challenging at first, but with time and practice, it becomes easier and can lead to profound positive changes in your life. So, are you ready to try letting go? Remember, it's not about giving up on your dreams. It's about trusting in yourself and the process of life. It's about creating space for amazing things to come into your life sometimes in ways you never expected. As you go about your day, notice areas where you might be holding on too tightly. 
take a deep breath and practice releasing your grip just a little. Be patient with yourself. This is a skill that takes time to develop, but with practice you might find that the things you've been chasing start to come to you more easily. The journey of letting go is ongoing. It's not something you do once and then you're done. It's a practice that you'll return to again and again throughout your life. But each time you practice, you're creating more space for joy, peace and wonderful possibilities in your life. The key to having what you want might just be letting it go. It sounds paradoxical, but sometimes the best way to move forward is to release your tight grip on the outcome. Trust in yourself, trust in the process, and stay open to the amazing things life has in store for you. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of letting go and the law of attraction. I hope you found it helpful and inspiring. If you have any thoughts or experiences with letting go, feel free to share them in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, consider subscribing for more content on personal growth and the law of attraction. Every day is a new opportunity to practice letting go and opening yourself up to the abundance of life. So take a deep breath, relax your grip, and see what wonderful things might flow into your life when you create the space for them. Until next time, take care and stay open to all the possibilities life has to offer.